When we released our most recent video of Atlas, mm -hmm. we were trying to show the world that not only can we do this parkour mobility thing, but we can pick up and move heavy things. Did Atlas Robot just take a rebirth? Boston Dynamics is all set to dominate the AI industry. This seems to be their next step in defining the versatility of humanoid robots. Atlas 2.0 will change the landscape of the AI world pretty soon. It sounds promising, right? Well, let's see what Boston Dynamics is cooking up this time. Boston Dynamics has always been a step ahead in defining the major changes happening in the AI industry, especially when it comes to humanoid robots. They're one of the giants in the field of robots who always set a trend that happiness will be followed by many in the future. Atlas Robot was one such. They launched Atlas in 2013 as a part of the U.S. Department of Defense. What made it stand out in the Atlas robot was its iconic dance moves and backflips. And they didn't stop there. Over the years, they tweaked the design of Atlas to make it more flexible. The results were scenes in the form of hopping, twirling, and jumping across a mat, making it similar to a man's doing. But what made Atlas a power in humanoid robotics was Boston Dynamics upgrade. They brought about a drastic change, making it all electric and with a ring light on the head. That was a clever move to make Atlas stand out among the other robots, even in appearance. To make the robot more agile, they found a way to make it rotate the body parts. And that was a success for sure. But the AI world was surprised when Boston Dynamics announced the retirement of Atlas, their golden boy. After 11 years of togetherness, Atlas said goodbye to the AI industry. Boston Dynamics said to Atlas, kick back and relax, as it was retiring from humanoid robotics. As a relief for the robotics enthusiast, the hydraulic version of the Atlas robot suddenly left the battlefield. But is that the real end of Atlas? That seems to be impossible, right? Well, it is impossible. Atlas is Boston Dynamics' lucky charm, and they cannot abandon that at any cost. The same thing happened. A week after announcing the retirement of Atlas, the company came up with the demo of Atlas 2.0. Boston Dynamics only hit the curveball of retirement to introduce the new gen model a week later. The robotics world was shocked by the demo that Atlas 2.0 did last week. This demo turned out mind-blowing. Atlas 2.0's movement seemed smooth and flawless compared to other recently launched robots and its predecessor. What made such a drastic difference is that Atlas 2.0 is fully electric instead of using hydraulics for functioning. That electric mode is more efficient and, most importantly, safer than the hydraulic version. The engineers have done the redefining in a very critical manner that made Atlas 2.0 more sleek and organized. The years of practical experience and a futuristic vision are explicitly expressed in the design of Atlas 2.0, along with its performance. The new design seems to be more approachable and friendly. The robot must seem approachable since the primary target of humanoid robots in factories. If they resemble something alien, the ease of approaching a robot in the house will be a challenge for the user. Removing the bulky chest of Atlas was a step towards the same. Now, the new version seems to have a friendly stick figure. The electric version of the Atlas is stronger and has a broader range of motion, as seen in the video where it rotated the legs and hip. This time, Boston Dynamics is focusing on a general purpose system, where a robot can do anything under or above the sky. The company, considering the needs and necessities of customers, is also pointing towards the same. And now that is one of the reasons that they got the acceptance that they enjoy today. Now. How long has Boston Dynamics come? Boston Dynamics research and development efforts have always been a topic of discussion in robotics. They have always ensured that effective and efficient studies are conducted before any update or upgrade. The same has happened in the case of Atlas. While other robotics companies are still thinking of a better way to switch to electric robots, Boston Dynamics has launched one. The progress they have made in humanoid robotics is commendable. The journey of Atlas was nothing but incredible in all directions. Even when the trend in the robotics world is changing in split seconds, the way Boston Dynamics copes with it seems to be the result of its progress and efforts over the years. When the humanoid robots were seen as aliens in the human world, Boston Dynamics took it as a challenge and made people realize that robots could be their companions in their workplace, as well as in the house. They made people realize that, just like a cell phone, which is an inevitable part of humans now, robots will also grab the position of a lifelong companion who can bring ease to your life where they can save half your lifetime. But what is the role of Hyundai in all this? This South Korean automotive manufacturer is one of Boston Dynamics' promising investors. 
They have invested a major chunk in the research and development of Atlas 2.0, which seems to be a trend maker in the robotics industry. Hyundai's investment in the development of Atlas is an assurance that Atlas will go a long way in humanoid robotics. What excites the robotics enthusiasts is the announcement from Boston Dynamics that Hyundai will be building the next generation of automotive manufacturing capabilities in their factories. This will definitely serve as the perfect testing ground for the new Atlas and its applications. What makes a robot efficient is the time-to-time -time polish that it receives during testing and upgrades after that. When the Giant itself provides a field in which to experiment and excel, it is time for Boston Dynamics to utilize it to the maximum. What a robot needs the most to enhance its potential is an in-depth facility and numerous data. Hyundai manufacturing factories will be the best fit for such a test since the manufacturing sector or the secondary sector will open all possible doors for robots to experience and experiment. Boston Dynamics has already confirmed that the Atlas 2.0 will be provided with information regarding the factory's workings prior to its arrival. Rival, unlike the robot finding its pace. The Atlas 2.0 looks and moves like a promise to Hyundai that their factories are safe in the hands of these robots. The company is planning to provide Hyundai with a complete ecosystem based on Atlas that includes software, additional services, and support. The major area to focus on is finding a balance between human labor and robots. One should not overpower the other. While robots can make the job time effective and cost effective, humans can make it creative and lively. Therefore, Boston Dynamics should aim to find a balance between both. Even though Atlas is expected to hit the household holds well, there is no confirmation yet. There is no confirmation that Atlas could be tailored for home use. But there's nothing to suggest that it couldn't take on a role as a robot butler. Boston Dynamics did not agree that Atlas would be used in households, nor did they deny it. Will Atlas 2.0 hit the bars? The expectations are sky high for Atlas 2.0. The acceptance its predecessor Atlas got in the robotics market will ignite the ride of Atlas 2.0 as well. Atlas did find a balance between humanity. Atlas 2.0 also ought to do that. Boston Dynamics aims to push the bars of body mobility and bimanual manipulation to make something that can really contribute to the ease of labor in factories and households. The basic conditions that are required to satisfy this legged robot are dynamic balance and movement. The demo released by Boston Dynamics did justice to this criterion that can initiate the working of a robot. The way Atlas flipped its leg 180 degrees to get up from the floor rather than turn its entire body like a human would. It was something so new to the audience. It would potentially enhance their performance in any difficult terrain as it can move in a way that exceeds human capabilities. It was one point of difference between Atlas and Atlas 2.0. Atlas was supposed to turn around just like any human, whereas Atlas 2.0 pivoted its torso. Atlas may resemble a human form factor, but we are equipping the robot to move in the most efficient way possible to complete a task rather than being constrained by a human range of motion, said Boston Dynamics when asked about Atlas 2.0 exceeding human power and flexibility. Atlas 2.0 will be nothing less than a technological marvel. As the world is rushing behind technology at its resulting shortcuts, Boston Dynamics hits the right spot. But what do you think? Will Atlas bring back the pride of its predecessor? Please let us know your thoughts in the comments box below. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more tech adventures. Stay curious, tech fam. We'll catch you at the next one.